Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math, I'm your host Sean Ian, in today's video we are looking at a quick example of doing the distributive property with fractions. Now the distributive property is totally unchanged when we're working with fractions, it works just the same as it does with any other number, but this is something lots of people search for, so I figured I would do a little example video on it. So let's say we've got something like this, we've got three-fourths multiplied by, in parentheses, the hallmark of the distributive property, x plus 8. So how do we do this? Well, quickly, let's just do an example of this without the fraction, so we get a look at that. Let's say we had to do 3x 3 times x plus 8. Well, the distributive property tells us we just need to distribute the 3 throughout the parentheses. So this is equal to 3 times x plus 3 times 8, which is 24. Now if we go over to this side with our scary little fraction, it's the same exact thing. We just have to multiply 3 fourths throughout the parentheses. So we would do 3 fourths times x plus 3 fourths times 8. So this is equal to 3 fourths times x plus 3 fourths times 8. 3 times 8 is 24, so we know that's 24 divided by 4. That's 3 times the 8 over 1, which is just 3 times 8 divided by 4 times 1, that's 24 over 4. Now I would rewrite this as 3x all divided by 4. Some people prefer to write it like this, I prefer to write it like this, totally up to you. This on the other hand you should definitely simplify no matter who you are. 24 divided by 4 is 6, so we can replace that with 6 and we are well on our way. Additionally, you could also write this if you wanted to as 3x plus 24 all over 4 because you can see here they've got the common denominator so we could just hop them up right up to the numerator and write it like so. But that's how it works. It's just the same as the normal distributive property. You just take your fraction, you multiply it by the first thing, by the second thing, by ever, by however many things you have inside of your parentheses. That's how you work the distributive property with fractions and a couple different ways we could simplify it. So I hope that video helped explain how we can use the uh, fractions in the distributive property. Let me know if you have any questions or need anything clarified in the comments or would like to see any other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear Won't you please come to me? You'll have it up here, dear There's a light where I float That erases